So, how was last night? Oh my gosh, it was so great. Really? He's, he's like a dream. Oh, he showed up in his red convertible. No way. Yeah, and he came up to the door and he had... Hi, sorry, to, I didn't mean to interrupt. Is it uh, Kim? Is it? Yes. Great, sorry. Hi, my name's Jeff. I just, uh, I'm a third year nursing student. I'm going to be taking care of Mrs. Meacham in 405C. Um, I just didn't know, like, she's due for a dressing change right now in about uh, t five minutes at 10 o'clock, so I just, I don't, I don't know, I, should I be talking to you? Like, I don't want to, I've done it before, uh, I've done it before. Uh, what time is the dressing change at? At, at 10 o'clock, it's like five minutes, oh, yeah. Right, that's coffee, that's right in my coffee break. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean, like, I've done it before, I could, if, if, if I, I just don't, no. like, I don't uh, feel too comfortable. You know what, I don't, you know what, I don't have time today. Uh, you're going to have to find someone else to help you. I have four other patients that I have to do dressing changes on, and and I, I don't have time to help you. I, I didn't ask for a student. Okay, so I'm sorry. So you, you're going to have to go uh, talk to your instructor or find someone else to help you. I, no, I can't help you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. It just comes up. Really, I'm really sorry. I have to do this. Like, just seriously. Seriously, yeah. Okay, don't worry about this one. Don't worry about this, it's just a little rookie hazing. That's all it is. They don't know you're nervous. They're just giving you a little rookie haze. It's what friends do. You're here to make friends, aren't you? Yeah. No, I'm not gonna tell on them. Don't worry about it. You're not gonna go tell the instructor what they did there. It's just a little friendly thing here. I'm gonna go prove myself. You know how you're gonna do it? You're gonna give the best dressing change you've ever given in your life. You're gonna go to room 405C and get little Miss Meacham the dressing change of her life. That's what you're gonna do, aren't you? Show them. Yeah. Give a little deep breath here. We're gonna do this right. Whew. Here we go. Okay, Miss Meacham, we all ready for this dressing change here? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Perfect. Now, do you like bushy and bright or thin and slender? Ah, oh, I'm just kidding with you. Hey, we're just joking around here. It's all good. Get that out of here. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's just uh, get a nice little amount of this in there. Make sure we're all good there. That's perfect. So, how have we been doing today? Uh, are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, you kidding me? You ever watch Show House? Learn everything I know from the doc. As a matter of fact, ever heard of a little name named Florence Knitting Mail? Okay. Nah, me and Flo go way back. Legendary nurse. I know what I'm doing here. Don't you worry about this. Let me just get a couple of these wet here. Get all that flowing. No pun, you know what I'm saying? All right. Now we got this guy here. I'm going to start off with a little couple cc's. Oh, feet. Oh, five second rule. Right? Don't worry about that. Let's just make sure we got the goods in this guy here. You have just witnessed an example of lateral violence in nursing. This negative experience has created a toxic environment that has shaken Jeff's confidence and caused him to provide improper patient care. Had Jeff understood the concepts of lateral violence and known how to deal with it, the outcome would have been quite different. Let's see what this would have looked like. Framing up. Oh, hi, Jeff. Yeah, hi. I was just uh, talking to my MRN, and I was asking uh, just to see if I could get a little help with a dressing change, and uh, she came across quite rude, and she was, like, not very helpful at all. She didn't want to help me at all, and it was just, like, it was very uncomfortable, and I, I didn't feel comfortable going in there, and I really was hoping to get some help, but she was very shortcoming, and I don't know, I was supposed to come and tell you guys anytime something like that happened. Oh, good for you. You did the right thing. Um, I'll make sure that I take this to the clinical nurse leader, and we'll, we'll deal with it properly. Good. Oh, yeah, it's not a big deal, I mean. Okay. I just know I have to come tell you. No, nope, good for you. You did the right thing. Uh, are you okay, though? Are you sure you're Yeah, right? no, I'm, I mean, I, I know not to take it personally. It's it's just, I don't know if she's having a bad day or whatever, but uh, I, I obviously know not to take it personally, but I'll uh, I'll just write it in my reflection later and uh, just thought I'd let you know. Okay. Yeah. Make sure it's longer than two pages. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just give that a couple more turns here. And that should about do it. How'd that feel? Oh, that was great. Thank you. Perfect. Excellent dressing change, Jeff. You seemed very confident. In this video, we showed an example of lateral violence between a student and an RN. However, lateral violence can happen between any other member of a healthcare team. Not only can it affect a nurse's self-esteem, but it can create a toxic work environment, feelings of powerlessness, poor retention in the workplace, and negative patient outcomes. If you ever encounter lateral violence in nursing, remember these important points. Don't take it personally. There is zero tolerance. Try to remain calm and professional. Make sure to report every instance of lateral violence to either your instructor, your nurse leader, or a nurse manager. 
and make sure to report all instances of lateral violence, no matter how trivial, to ensure that these matters are dealt with. You can stop the lateral violence cycle.